New at 11 during the civil rights movement, the Canwright House in St. Augustine was a safe place for activists. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once almost stayed there. It's been shot up, it's been bombed, it's been vandalized because of the people and the places that were connected to it. That's right, a lot of history with this home. And decades later, a couple took on the responsibility to preserve its rich history and make it a home for their family. But now the homeowners say the house could be relocated or demolished. On your side, Tristan Hardy explains what led up to this moment. If these walls to the Canwright house could talk, it would tell you how it was home to movers and shakers. And the house would show you how it got these scars. Here we want people to feel the feeling that you get when you come in and you see and you experience what happened here. Patty so. Berry and her husband David Menante put in the time and money to preserving this home that was once shelter to civil rights activists. So it, it means a lot to us. But their energy. At this point, we have reached the end of our line. Has been spent trying to make it into a home of their own. We wanted to build a new structure around it but preserve the, the, current, the, you know, the current house. If it wasn't historical, we would not be here today. The homeowners want to add two stories to the house, but they say the request for a variance was denied by the county's planning and zoning committee. They say neighbors also campaigned to block their request. The, the neighbors said that they, we were gonna set a precedent to future uh, requests for, for a variance um, of other neighbors. Negotiations, unfortunately, fell short with the PNZ. They told us no and basically said, well, at this point, you can file for a permit for demolition. That caught the attention from county commissioners. So on Tuesday, St. John's County commissioners voted to draft a letter supporting the relocation of the Canwright House. But there's no telling where it will go or how much it will cost. The couple's only options now, demolish the home or relocate it, but they just want to keep it as is. Some things require special circumstances, and that would be a situation like this. In St. Augustine, Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.